In today's tutorial, let's do a spider web blanket. This is considered intermediate, but it really isn't that hard. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. I'm your host, Mikey. Today we're going to do the spider web blanket. This is considered intermediate, but really when you follow this tutorial, I'll make it quite simple for you. It is a very interesting look here. We have three layers of red, one, two, and three, and then we have three layers of blue. So right in the center, blue, blue, and blue. So what we're gonna be doing in today's afghan is that we're gonna be working in a large circle like this. There's 12 points of this spider web, and then you see that there's lines going out. That's done afterward. So essentially it's a 12-point star, and then we're gonna then do the embellishment afterward to create the look of the web. Let's take a look. There's more information available in the more information of this video. There's a link directly to the pattern, as well as there's written instructions but also there is a crochet diagram which I'm gonna cover next. So here is the crochet diagram that is included with the written instructions and I'm gonna use this off camera when I'm being able to go and I'm gonna show you how to be able to do this. Now let's take a look uh, quickly at this pattern and once it gets beyond row number six then what's gonna happen is then it's gonna start looking like it's gonna balance each other. So it's just a matter of getting the center all the way out to row number six or round number six and then you can see that there's a consistency of growth that's gonna happen. Now what you're looking at here when you look at this, this is not the entire afghan. This is just showing you the steps and showing you the repeat patterns that you need to do in order to make sense of it. So today I'm gonna get you started right in the center and I'm gonna take you all the way uh, to row number nine. Okay, or round number nine in order to get started because you're gonna see and I'm gonna tell you what to look for in order to continue. So just uh, very quickly when you look at it, you got three rows of one color and then these single crochets that they're plus signs, those are the white and then another three rows and that'll probably be, so it'd be red and then blue and then another row of single crochets which is white. So when you're looking at it from this perspective, we're gonna be looking at this um, from a spider web point of view and it's gonna be quite easy. So today you're going to need some yarn. So you're gonna need one ball, our Bernat blanket. You see how big this ball is? And you're also gonna need uh, two balls of race car red and two balls of royal blue in the Bernat brights blank, or in the Bernat blanket brights. And those are really bright colors and uh, they really are quite amazing when you look at it from this perspective as well. So today, we're, let's get started. You're gonna need a nine millimeter and that is a size M crochet hook today in order to participate. So let's review what we're looking at here and we're gonna start off with the center. Just you see it's a chain four to begin and then we're gonna double crochet then in a circle and what I want to point out to you is that round number four is when we change it to white. So we're gonna start off this area here all in blue then it's gonna go white and then it will go red out and then white and then blue and then white and etc. So let's grab our royal blue up and grab your crochet hook and let's begin the center point. So let's create a slip knot to begin and this is intermediate level here but again once I get beyond this uh, tutorial you'll consider it easy I'm sure you will. So you're going to then chain four. Remember the one on the hook never counts as one. So one, two, three, and four and I want you to take your hook and insert it into the beginning chain and yarn over and pull through and this will create the center ring of your entire afghan. So let's move along to round number one. So round number one, we're now going to establish the center of uh, uh, starting points and here, this is the straggler. I want you to lay it around the outside of the ring like it's part of the ring and you can trap that underneath. So I want you to chain up three. So one, two, three. This counts as a double crochet. So when it's asking you to do 11 do cr double crochets into the center ring, it makes it 12 because this is considered one of them. So let's uh, begin double crochet. So wrap the hook going right into the center of the ring, putting this straggler over top so you can see that it gets stuck into position and I want you to double crochet a total of 11 times. So consider this chain three as one of them. So go one, two so far and just let's start counting and we're gonna do three. Keep bearing that straggler as you go and this is four. Keep bearing that straggler. This is five, six, seven, Okay, that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
and 12. So this round is the most important round of all of them because you have to make sure you have your 12. So let's just count. So just pull it out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Once you're satisfied and have your 12 just join to the top at the beginning chain 3 two, and conclude it with a slip stitch like this. So let's move along to round number 2. In round number 2 we're gonna double size this circle. So what we're gonna do to start is that we're gonna chain three and that counts as a double crochet and right into the same one where you've done the join I need you to put another double crochet. So each one of the stitches going all the way around in the last round is gonna have a total of two double crochets into each. So just going right into the next stitch and place in two double crochets and I need you to do that for every round. So you're gonna have 12 groups of two going all the way around. I'm gonna show you a little um, trick at the end because you may get it wrong just in case and I'm gonna show you that. So just put in two double crochets into each and there should be a total of 12 um, groups of two going all the way around. I'll meet you back in a second. So I'm coming up all the way around and you're gonna notice something. So you're gonna think you got one more stitch left. That's what people normally do in this and that's where they go wrong. So you just have to count out 12 groups of two. So you see one, two there and then another two. I have officially 12. So people think this is one. So they throw in an extra group of two in there and then they end up with 13 groups of two instead of 12. Once you have your 12 just lean over and go into the top of the beginning uh, chain three that you had started with to conclude it with the slip stitch and you'll see that will pull everything together. Okay, so let's move along to round number three. In round number three we're now going to start creating the 12 points. So here's what we're going to do. So we need to play within the same stitch twice when we go to do this but we need to put some gap spaces in between. So the first time, the first one we're about to do now is that we're gonna just immediately chain up five. So this will count as a double crochet plus chain two. So one, two, three, that is your double crochet and then put in an extra two that gives you a total of five and that is your chain two. You're gonna come into the exact same one that you did the join with and double crochet once again. Okay, so you're gonna create like these, uh, these V shapes like this. So you're just gonna skip the next stitch, go to the second over and do it again. So double crochet into the second one over. Okay, chain two and then coming into the same one double crochet again. Okay, so you see there's the next V shape there. So skip the next one, go to the second one over and double crochet, chain two and double crochet. So please do that same concept going all the way around now and so skip the next one, double crochet, chain two, double crochet and the same and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So now coming up all the way back around so if I skip one and then the next one is there. See, do you see how the consistency is? So you should have 12 groups of these V shapes now and then once you're done just join it then to the third stitch up. Don't join all the way to the top here. You need to keep that open for your chain two um, space. So now this is it for this color. Blue is now done and it just needs to be stretched a little bit and it's good. So what I want to do now is that I want to take this yarn off now and I am going to move to white. So that concludes the blue already for the center of your afghan. So I just want to weave in the blue in and amongst the stitches just in and out and the white layer that you're about to apply now for the first level of the spider web is going to then bury in these loose ends. So once you get in about, uh, about two inches buried or a little bit more you can um, just safely just trim it then and now if you have anything left out in the center, any uh, yarn hanging out then you can trim that as well. So let's move along to round number four and we're going to use white. So let's begin to use white. It might be hard to see on the background. I'll do best I can. So I want you to create a slip knot first and then you have extra security that it's never gonna pop off. Now you can go in any chain two space any way around. It doesn't matter which one. It can go where you stopped. It can be any one. It's all gonna be equal. So I want you to go into just pick one chain space and just insert in and I want you to put the yarn over the chain space and pull through. And this is just connecting it with the slip knot just like this. So now I'm gonna chain one and into the same one here I need to put three more single crochets. So three single crochets into that. Now this white straggler leave down on top. If you have a blue popping out just leave it underneath so it, it gets stuck and apply three single crochets into that space. So one, 
two and three. Now you're not done with that space. So just shift everything over. Just pull it nice and tight and into that same space you're going to chain two and come back into that same space and put in three more single crochets. There's gonna be a lot going on in each one of these spaces going all the way around. Just like that. Okay, so there's three singles, two chains, three singles. So you're gonna now jump to the next chain two space. Okay, see how these came together? There's no space there. The next chain two space and immediately just start into the space. So three singles, so one, two, and three followed by chain two, one and two and back in for three more. So one, two, three. So I'll show you one more time. So go into the next chain two space. It's right here. See how these kind of lean in? That's not a space and you're gonna put in three. So one, two and three followed by chain two and three more singles into the same one. So please do that all the way around and this will be round number four. So now that I've gone all the way around I have three single crochets here and I wanna just join it then to the top of the first single crochet. So I've got one, two and three. So just go to the top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch, pull over and white is done. So whenever you're doing white on these rounds it's only one round and then you're switching off to the next color. In this case it'll be race car red. So we're gonna then establish then and we're gonna start now making the points even bigger as we continue to grow your afghan. So just weave in your ends in and out and make sure you go about an inch or two. You're just going in and out of the stitches and make sure you do actually cross over the points here because that's where all the yarn is really gonna be grabbing nice and tight. So if you don't get that far then you may have loose ends hanging out just like that. So what I'm gonna do now is just trim that yarn out and let's begin round number five. In round number five we're gonna be playing in the chain two spaces right in the points. Okay, so this almost kinda like the white here that we were just in the point uh, playing over here. We're gonna do it again just for only for round number five. Gonna create a slip knot to begin just for extra security and I want you to join it to any of the chain two space on the actual point. Doesn't matter which one you begin, they're all equal. So I'm gonna just then just yarn over and pull it through as a slip, slip knot to hold it and I wanna position my straggler right over top so I can get it stuck and I'm gonna chain three. So one, two and three and I want to keep everything in balance. So keep this straggler down on top and I wanna put two more double crochets in here. You'll notice that there's three double crochets followed by two chains and three into the same one. This chain three counts as one of the double crochets so that's why I only want you to do two double crochets right now right into that same spot of the chain two underneath like that. Now you're gonna do a chain two, one and two and into the exact same spot again. Again going over top of the straggler you're gonna put in three double crochets into that there. So there's a lot going on in that little spot once again. Okay. So once you get that done then you can let this straggler just go in behind. You'll trim that out later and what I want you to do now is that I want you to work towards the next peak. So you'll see that it's over here. So this here is like spaces in between and this here will give you indication that that's not the right space. It's more open here so therefore the point must be here. So just look at it, lay it down if you have to. So in each point then for the remainder of round number five is gonna be three double crochets. So just go right over to that next point. Just stretch right over and you're gonna put in three double crochets like that followed by a chain two and three double crochets into that again same spot. So three, two and three. Just remember that those numbers three, two and three. So three doubles, uh, two chains and three doubles. Okay so you get that one done. Again go to the next point over here and then just lean over and get it done. Three doubles. So one, two and three like that, chain two and three doubles. So please do that same concept all the way around. So I'm finishing up the final point. I have already three doubles in there. Chain two is already in there and now this is the final three. And so this is round number five 
and once you get that done just stretch over and go to the top of the first chain three that you started with just like that. Just slip stitch it in together and then we're gonna move up to round number six. So I'm back here on the pattern now and we've just completed round number five and now I wanna show you the consistency of this pattern because not every round is the same. So even though we're gonna do like a whole layer uh, right now of red, when we go to do the next one, it's not gonna be the same stitch counts in the points. So what I have to show you here is that I have highlighted these here. Do you see that they're more of a red here? And so I got that and this one and this one and this end one. And why did I highlight that? Well the reality is is that the next time you go, do you see that this chain two space? In this round there's only one double crochet into that space. But in the next time, in the next round, in the chain two space here, there's two. Do you see that? And then chain two and then two. So the next time you do it again, there's gonna be only one. The next time is gonna be two. Do you see that? So when you go to do the repeat pattern for this whole thing, once you get beyond outside of this particular chart, you're going to be repeating rows from eight to 16. So right here from eight all the way to 16 is the layer. So in one particular color, you're gonna have one, two, one, and then in the next one, it's gonna be two, one, two. And so you just have to keep repeating. The green one, fortunately for you is always gonna be the same. So those are the single crochets in the white. So that's never gonna change but you need to watch for this. So when you're doing the repeat pattern, I strongly recommend you print it out, look for that and let's move on to round number six. So let's look where we are right now. So right now we finished off right here but did you notice that there's another dot right here? This is a slip stitch to take you one stitch over. In order to create and keep this look in between, you cannot start right in the center. You have to move over once. So we slip stitch one over to do it. Won't look number seven. We slip stitch over to do it. Look, do you see this? So in round number eight, when we go to do this one here, we're actually gonna slip stitch to the third one over whenever we're working with the single crochet in below. So what we need to look for here is that we need to look for where we need to start but the nice thing about it is that the ones all in the middle here, they're only slip stitching one. You gotta watch out for these single crochet lines that when we'll get to that when we get there. So you'll see that they're also moving over by one but the next time you bring up the next main color again, you have to shift over to the third one because of just the way that the single crochet is sitting in, in balance in order to keep this sitting flat for you. So let's begin round number six. So as I mentioned, you've just joined it at the point but you're at the wrong place to start so you have to move over one. So you just move over to the next stitch and you slip stitch. So just yarn over and through and through. And now that just moved you over top of the second one. So now you're gonna chain three which counts as a double crochet and in round number six, the next one here is just a double crochet but on the points on round number six, this one here I highlighted it there and it only has one double crochet into the point followed by chain two and then one back into that same point. Just like that. So let's move down the other side. So on the other side we're gonna move into the first one. So it just as a double crochet, move into the next one for a double crochet and remember how we skipped over and we went to the second over? We have to skip the two middle ones right in the center right here. So skip this one and this one and go to the second one over. So actually count over three, one, two and three and you're gonna double crochet into that one. So like you have two crawling up on one side here and then the point, you're gonna two crawl down this side and then you're gonna two crawl up the other side. So that's all stays consistent in every round but every round they'll get more and more of these double crochets as it gets a bigger big and bigger. So here on the point for round number six it was one double crochet followed by chain two and then one double crochet back in. And then we come down the other side. So it's like we have two coming down this side. You won't need to count these um, once you get used to this pattern. You just gotta look for it and look for the signs where you can stop. So there's gonna be two in a row crawling down. You're gonna skip over the next one which is the middle here. Skip over this one here. Go to the third and then crawl up with double crochet. There will be two again. So one and two and then you're in a point again. So the point is one double crochet, chain two and one double crochet. Please do that all the way around for round number six. 
So I'm coming up all the way back around so I should be skipping over the two middles. Remember how we slip stitched over so it should appear that way and then we're just gonna lean over and join it to the top of the chain three that you had started with and that concludes off round number six. So let's move along to round number seven. So in round number seven we're gonna have to slip stitch over once again and so we just go over to the next one over and slip stitch to move over and get yourself out of that middle section. We're going to chain two or sorry chain three so one, two, three and this time then we just go into the very next one here and we are going to uh, place a double crochet and you're already on the peak of the chain two. So in round number seven and you'll see that on the paper so this was done in the neon color and there will be two double crochets into this one. So one and two followed by chain two and then two back into that same space. Just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna crawl down the other side. So here's, you can either count them but I'm gonna show you. Look, do you see how there's three here? You know you have to skip over this one here and you know you have to skip over this one here. So you're looking for where these are and then instead of having to count on the way down if you feel confident you don't have to. You can just look for the signs but if you wanna count there's only two this time around. So two in a row and then skip over the next and the next and go to the third and crawl up the other side and there's only two there as well. And really when you look at it here there's only three here. You had to skip this one. You're going into the next one anyway and you're going into the next one. So there's your two crawling up and then once you get to the peak and this round it's two double crochets followed by a chain two and two double crochets in like that and then you're gonna crawl down then the other side. So there's only gonna be two and I can see it's only two and I'm not even looking for that number. I'm just looking that I'm gonna skip automatically over the middle one anyway. So please do that same uh, configuration going all the way around and I'll see you at the end of this round. When you get all the way back around then you're just going to then join it to the top of the beginning chain three and now we're done with the red at this time. So there's only three rounds of each one of these colors. So you got three red then we're gonna go back to white and then three blue and then back to white and then back to red again. So it's just a really quite an easy pattern to be able to maintain. I'm gonna show you now how to do round number eight which is the actual um, single crochet and it's identical to every time you're gonna apply single crochet to separate the blue and the red throughout the entire afghan. So just uh, weave this in and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So let's start round number eight. Anytime you're gonna do a single crochet this is what it's gonna be. It doesn't matter which round you're on. They're always gonna be the same which makes it easier to remember. So we're gonna start off with the slip knot just I do it for extra security. So we're gonna go right in between the points. So you can see the points. You see the two middle ones here. You're gonna skip over those and you're gonna go to the first one over. Okay and you're going to insert your hook into that, that one over there. So it should be over the second stitch okay in a row. So you're just gonna join it with a slip stitch like that. Chain one and one single crochet into that stitch. So you're, all you're gonna do now is just hold this down over top and bury it as you go and I'll try to uh, keep that camera consistent here because I know it's white on white and you're gonna move up the side here into each one of the stitches until you get to the chain two space. So in this case in this round there's only three here but I didn't need to count that anyway because I ran out of stitches anyway crawling up so that just helps that easy to remember. So keeping the straggler down on top still you're gonna apply three uh, single crochets into the point. So one, two and three followed by a chain two okay. Then back into that same point for another three single crochets. So one, two and three and where else did we do that? If you remember that's how we did these points down here. They were three, two and three. It's the same thing. So now you're gonna crawl down the other side. So you're just gonna keep crawling until you run into the one that's just before the middle. So this is the middle, this is the middle. So you're gonna stop the one before it and you're just gonna keep on moving down until you run out of stitches. That's the way I do it. If you have an easier way it's up to you. So the next one then is right in the middle. You wanna skip that and skip the next one and just lean over and go for that next one on the other side. So one and you can count it or you can just put in your single crochets crawling up the other side. There was a total of three this side, three down, 
there was a total of three coming up if you wanna be counting. And then on the point it's three double crochets, sorry three single crochets, chain two and three singles. So just as a point of reference every time you get bigger and bigger um, just because I showed you that there was three here at this time the next time you do it there's gonna be a lot more. So it's gonna continuously get bigger so the points get further and further away from each other so you'll need more stitches to apply. So let's crawl down the other side and again I'm not counting I'm just looking for the cue of the middles so I know where to stop. So the next two are middles see and I just go over to the third one over and start crawling up the other side. So please do that all the way around for using white. So when you get all the way back around then you're just going to join it to the top of the single crochet and then you're gonna fasten off the white and then re uh, begin again but this time you're gonna do with blue. So the remainder of this tutorial I'm just going to show you on the diagram. I think it's easier for you um, to follow the diagram and make notes on it for yourself other than just to go step by step because the reality is I've already covered the steps and I've showed you how to do it. So I'm going to pull up my sheet again if you wanna grab a sheet just print it off just mark it like mine and you can make it a lot easier. So just weaving this in. So then once I just go over that with you I'm gonna show you how to do the, the vertical lines that come out from the center of this in order to create the spider web look. So at this time it looks more like a bullseye at this point but as you get bigger. Now the advantage of this particular pattern is that once I show you the pattern on repeat you can go bigger than the afghan that is provided in this tutorial as long as you have the yarn to do so. How much more yarn are you gonna need to make it bigger? That's up to you. You're gonna have to buy extra if you're gonna need to do that. But it's already I think 55 inches wide in diameter. So now we're gonna start the repeat pattern. The repeat pattern is round number nine through 16. Just remember it keeps getting bigger and bigger. So it keeps on getting even wider as it gets on as you grow. So what we're gonna do then is in round number nine, okay, you're gonna start off and you're gonna go to the third single crochet over, join it there, chain up three and then start double crocheting up until you get to the chain two space. So you can count the number of stitches that it takes to get there and then once you're in that space then of chain two this time see how I colored it that way it's one double crochet chain two one double crochet into there. Then you're gonna crawl down the other side and then in this round here you're going to skip and leave two single crochets empty in the on this side two on this side and so just stretch over and go to the third one and continue that same pattern all the way around. So round number 10 you're just gonna slip st stitch over one then chain three double crochet to the chain two space. This time there's two into this one chain two, two into that one and then crawl down again skipping over the middle. You're gonna come back around and you're gonna slip stitch over one just like you'd had before. S double crochet up this in the chain two space. This time there's only one and then chain two and then one on the other side and then crawl down the other side leaving the two empty. You're back on number 12 here. This is the same as number eight. Again just going over to the second one over start single crocheting up and then you're gonna put three into this chain two space, chain two and then three in, crawl down leaving the two middle empty and then you're back here. So number 13 you're going to start on the third single crochet over, chain three, double crochet to the top this time there will be two into that one, chain two space, chain two, two into the uh, chain two space and then crawl down leaving these two empty on both sides and then continue for 14 you're gonna go over one then uh, chain up three, double crochet to the point. This time there's only one, chain two and one come down leaving the middles empty and then number 15 you're gonna go over one and then just chain up three, double crochet to the point. This time there's two into there chain two and then uh, double crochet uh, two back in coming back leaving the ones empty and then number 16 is like you had done before. So going over to the second one over single crochet to the center of the point and then there's three into the middle chain two and three. So once you get this part done you're gonna go back to number nine just follow it like it is. So why did I tell you to go back to number nine and not back to number 13? It's these here. It's the see this single it's a one two one two one two. So the next one has to be one two and that's why I'm telling you to go back down. So you're really more looking at the point when you go back down and these will get wider and wider as you go and hopefully that helps. But now let's uh, learn how to do the spider web that comes out from the center. So for the spokes of the afghan it's actually really interesting. We're gonna start on the outside 
Okay, just start on the outside and we're gonna work our way to the center. But you don't fasten off in the center, you keep on going to the other side. So you have to do this a total of six times. So this will go right over to the other side. This one coming up will go over to the other side and so forth. So you have to just continue to do that. It's really easy to be able to do this and I'm gonna show you what you need to do. It's all consisting of slip stitching. But I will tell you, once you do this, this is the side that will always be better. The other side will just look like it's dotted lines because this is the side that it's supposed to appear on which is the good side and considered the right side. Let's uh, show you how to do that. So let's apply, it's called a spoke. So what I want you to do is leave an extra long strand so you can use a darning needle to get rid of that strand at the end to hide it and I want you to create a slip knot and put it onto your hook. I want you to come out to the outside of the point. Okay, and yours, it'll be white it'll be the same color and you're just going to apply it with a slip stitch. So you're gonna be slip stitching most of this whole thing anyway. So you're gonna slip stitch it here. This strand here you're gonna hide it with the darning needle at the end. I'll show you how to do, to do that. So what we need to do then right off the bat is once you do that is that you want to chain one and then coming into the next space right underneath. So just kind of separate it out and you're going to apply a slip stitch there. So you're doing that just to get yourself started. Just like that. So now whenever there is double crochet below you here then you have to, when I say below I mean it's coming up next, is that you're always gonna have to chain two. So just go one and two and then you come into this space here, okay, and slip stitch like that. Just like that. So now you have another big space here and, you, and it's whenever you really are in the main color anyway. So you're gonna chain two and then come to the next one here and slip stitch. Just like that. So, so chain two and come into the next one. So just kind of open it up. Don't be afraid to manipulate it if you have to. Now here's the thing. Your next one is very close to you here. Okay, this is the single crochet uh, round. So this time you're only gonna chain one and then you come into that space for a slip stitch. And now the next one is all the way in. So then that one is gonna be chain two. Do you see that? So whenever it's a double crochet round you're always chaining two. So just keep working your way to the center. Okay, the next one is a double crochet round. So chain two and just working yourself in just right to the center. So just look for that center if you're confused. Just take your time and then chain two because there's another double crochet and then you are going to then get into the very outside. Now you're gonna cross over the center, okay. So when you cross over the center um, it's actually gonna be quite easy. So when you cross over to the center, chain two and then jump over exactly opposite to where you are going, okay. So just eye it up if you have to. You can count stitches if you want to. Okay, so the next round here going out is a double crochet. So you chain up two and straight out. I wanna look where I'm going here. So where am I going? I'm going right there. Again, I'm gonna wanna take my time with this. Chain two because the next one that you're going over is a double crochet. And I'm looking to the point so I can get my bearings where everything is joining. Just like that. Okay, and now I chain two again because the next one is a double crochet and I'm gonna start then at the point. Okay, this is one directly across. So in the middle you just gotta fudge it a little bit just to get it to look right and then you can keep on going. So this one is a single crochet round that I just did. So you're gonna chain up one first and then come into the next one for a slip stitch and then keep on moving down. So chain two, the next one's a double crochet and I'm moving towards the point. Okay, so chain two. Keep going to the point. So chain two. Okay, here's the next one here. But remember you still have to get into the very point of this thing. So you still have to chain one at the very end when you get there. Chain one and then just slip stitch around the end. So now you're done with that. So you're just gonna fasten off your yarn leaving an extra long tail and use a darning needle then to hide in your work and I'm gonna show you how to do that next. So with the darning needle what you wanna do is put that yarn through the eye of the needle 
and this yarn really collapses down nicely. It's easy to get onto these uh, needles and all you just wanna do is that you wanna go in and out of the edge a total of three times. So go right into the work okay and you wanna trap it in three times. If you go in, in and out three times what happens is that it's impossible for this afghan to stretch in three different directions at one time. So by doing that you're permanently locking in this outside strand so it should never fall out on you and you just keep on going back and forth in different paths but in the same direction so that it gets trapped within the fibers and you're gonna wanna do that for both sides. I told you to leave on extra when you started so therefore you see you have a nice edge there just like that and so you'll wanna come back to this one over here and do those. So this is how you do the spider web uh, afghan. This is really kinda neat. Um, it's gonna be great. Let me show you what the back looks like then. So obviously I got some work but I told you see it's gonna look like dotted lines on this side because everything is happening on the right side of the project which is the good side. Till next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the crochet crowd.com. Have a great day. Bye bye.